necessary to nationally compete. And we wanted a transformational leader with significant experience in collegiate athletics and the energy and grit who can connect with our athletes, fans, and donors. And today, I am excited to introduce you to the individual who excels in all of those areas and more, the ideal leader to build on our momentum, Terry Wadge. <laughs> I have more to say. I'll, I'll, I'll get to you in a little bit. Oh, I have a lot more to say. Ready to go? Yes, exactly. He's ready to go. You can see. He's ready to get his job, get going on job. It is because of you that we are now the envy of programs across the country. And we are just getting started. I am excited for the future of UCF Athletics, and Terry, and all of us, we will work together to create that future. Go Knights, and charge on. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to invite Terry to come up, and I'd also like to invite our board chair to come up. We'll take Sorry, I want to make sure that UCF is the right way around. <laughs> Good.
my question I have to you is, what are your priorities when it comes to hiring a coach, and what's your timeline looking forward to being hired? Um, well, first, one of the players asked me, I met with the football team today, um, and I met with the leadership group of the football team, and one of the players uh, asked me, uh, do you think you can find a coach within the next month? I said, I hope so, I don't need to fire them. So, so, uh, so, uh, so I was like, you know, uh, so one of the things that I wanted to really get the polls, and I know one of the things I told them today, and I don't want to give too much information as a private conversation. I know they wanted to mic me up, but I said this is a conversation with the guys. Um, I wanted to know, don't get married to any one person uh, or somebody out there. You need to let me know who you, what you think we need to do better. And that's what we talked about. What do we need to be better at? And uh, I had those conversations. That'll help get the profile. I've already started talking. Uh, we're looking through and doing the research. I mean, I, I started doing that last Sunday. So, or this past Sunday. So, uh, you know, we're gonna narrow this down uh, pretty quickly uh, the next couple of days. As soon as, uh, as soon as I, uh, this day is over, um, I'm going to go dark, and uh, I won't probably talk to the media, I won't respond, and that's all I'm going to do is bury myself uh, the next two or three days to do a lot of research, to look at a lot of videos, uh, probably watch some tape uh, or film, and, uh, and then kind of narrow down the candidates. Well, yeah, Terry, Mike Bianchi from the Orlando Sentinel. Obviously, it was very difficult for you to leave Arkansas State. You were there quite some time. I'm sure you're not looking at UCF as a, as a stepping stone. Are you looking for a football coach who isn't look, uh, looking at UCF as a stepping stone type of job? Well, it's interesting you say that. You know, you don't, I don't know what that means really. I, mean, I get it, what has happened here. But, you know, I told the players, the first thing I said to them, the entire team, I said, changes are difficult. Okay? No matter, no matter one constant in life is change. So if you look at all the programs, I don't care if it's Power 5, Google 5, wherever, FCS, Division 2, whatever, it is conceivable that that coach is not going to be there when five years time you graduate. So you have to embrace change. And the only way that you can learn how to deal with change is you go through it. So let's use this as an opportunity, okay? So I'm not so worried about whether a coach stays if we put the program in the right spot and we build the program, we don't build seasons, we don't build teams, we build the program, then no matter who we hire as our head coach in any sport, we're gonna be successful. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how to wield a sword. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> you can yeah, hide in here. 